Good morning, everyone. I extend a warm welcome for the fourth webinar of CSI for this academic year. I would like to thank the Executive Director of Don Bosco Institute of Technology, Reverend Father Mario Vaz, our Principal, Dr. Prasanna Nambiar, the HOD of IT Department, Professor Janvi Baikarekar, and the SBC of CSI at Don Bosco Institute of Technology, Professor Uday Nayak. Today for this webinar, we have with us Dr. Amiya Kumar Tripathi. Dr. Amiya Kumar Tripathi is a professor in computer engineering. He had been the dean of Don Bosco Institute of Technology, Mumbai. Dr. Tripathi is also an adjunct professor to School of Science, Edith Coven University, Perth, Australia. He had been the research mentor on smart farming projects with RM University of Technology, Bangkok, Thailand. Dr. Tripathi had been the secretary to RUSA, Government of Maharashtra, for higher studies in geospatial technology. Dr. Tripathi earned his PhD from IIT Bombay and has completed 22 years in the software industry, research and academics, having 125 plus publications to repute. He has been the editorial board member of IEEE Transactions on Computational Social Systems and Elsevier's Journal of Informational Science. He has been the general chair and program chair to many IEEE ACM international conferences and has delivered many keynote and plenary talks he has carried out many collaborative overseas projects. His research interest includes machine learning, data science, sensor networks, ICT for agriculture and rural development. I would now like to request Dr. Amaya to begin with the session. Thank you. So let me share my slide, please. Is my slide visible now? Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. So welcome to the webinar, Data Analytics for Internet of Things. When we talk about uh, the data analytics and inter Internet of Things, it comes in picture the data. It comes in picture analytics. It comes in picture the Internet of Things over there. So the question is comes in picture, what is the analytics into IoT? Means IoT analytics. When you talk about uh, the whole data and data analytics have taken the business world by a storm. So nowadays, any business, any business want to improving its productivity and any kind of performance that it is depending upon the collection of and analyzing of data and data comes from various sources. So today's or present business ventures have been processing data for ages, but when the IoT comes in picture, it is a now a game changer. So when we talk about data that is collected through IoT and analyzed in different, in a third, in a third party way is is a different kind of techniques uh, which is compared with the, the traditional way of doing it. For there, the data analytics also requires a sophisticated skills for analyzing the data. Now the comes over there, what is the analytics actually? IoT analytics is the application of data analysis tools and produced to realize value from the huge volume of data generated by any Internet of Things devices. So IoT analytics offers the similar benefit to the for management and data centers and other facilities as well as retail as well as healthcare applications. Then comes the question comes in mind, someone may say, what the advantage? When you talk about uh, the advantage, ability, the IoT analytics is the ability to make faster, more informed business decisions big by the facts. And of course, it's a deeper understanding of customer requirements, which in turn builds a better business relationship. And of course, increase awareness of risk, enabling the implementation of preventive measures. And that is what the 
the, the biggest advantage of data analytics is concerned. Then somebody may ask the question, why do with all that of IoT data? Or what you want to do with this? So leverage with the machine learning and the predictive analytics or the machine learning and predictive analytics can make the most out of your data, keep and analyze your old data and identify and overcome the business challenges. That's what the, we do with the IoT data. So identify the inefficiency, improving the productivity and boost revenue, implementing the IoT analytics will allow you to turn a big data that you get there into an increased volume and with respect to the big data is concerned. So IoT is the predictive of the future as of now. So you have to better understand your customer and customer engagement and that is in the form of a data game. When you talk about uh, the IoT, right, this market is something like this way. So manufacturing industrial section has uh, taken 22%, transport and mobility 15%, energy 14%, retail 12%, cities that are the are the what it is has been used by 12% like this way. So this is what the complete figure as of now uh, of 2020 is concerned. So once the the Microsoft CEO Satya Nadala has told industrial IoT is transforming the rule of manufacturing and fueling cloud and edge innovation, accelerating the evolution of digital factories and enhancing the operational performance. This is what uh, Satya Nadala has told in November 2019. So this, the, what it's talking about now, so-called the power of uh, IoT and IoT analytics is concerned. Now, when you talk about uh, the data analytics and all things, uh, then obviously this could be a hype. Yes, it is a hype. And of course, it has been now changing from a traditional data to a IoT generated data. It's, it, there is a transformation happening over there. There is, there is also, there is a gap. There is a difference also between the traditional data collection and IoT data collections are there. So things are, tools and technologies are changing with the due course of time. And of course, as I say that one, the IoT is changing the face of data. Yes, it is, the, it is changing face of the data, obviously. So what we talk about is of uh, the different kind of challenges which is facing for starting from collection to analysis and the way the IoT data for changing world is comes in picture and uh, how this is changing, that is what I would like to say some of my experience, some of my works and some of the concept uh, that I have been working with uh, different different uh, projects uh, that I will I will share here over here. So now when we talk about uh, the uh, IoT, what exactly you think about that? And then the, the few things comes into mind when we talk about analytics, we talk about uh, when the data has been collected and after that we will do some kind of analysis and do something over there. But however, the things are changing that one. We, we want, we want everything has to be immediate. We want the decision to be taken immediately. We want the decision taken by, not by a person, but by a system, by, by understanding such kind of things are there. So what it comes into picture is in these cases is that, that data agent when comes or data about to come or data while is moving, all kind of uh, the decision has to be taken. That means, Analysis is a continuous process. So it is not data in the rest, which earlier or traditionally we do. Now the upcoming or the current things is moving with to data in motion. Means analytics is carried out while data in motion. Now we are migrating from data in the rest to data in motion now. So when we talk about that, obviously real-time data or real-time information and the real-time processing is very much important. Let's look at a video. This is a smart home or smart thing, smart way doing things is coming picture. This is a more futuristic video, but however, this, this gives you a glimpse of how the data in motion has been taken place and the decision has to be taken, whether it's a manually or automated, but it's just a, as a, as a, just a finger touch over there. Let's look into this video.
from a similar thing when they have a notification and when the, you are going at the same time your the computer is waking up because it is connected over there when you are your your as per your profile what you are going to do The smart systems and the Internet of Things are driven by combination of sensors, connectivity, and people and process. Sensors, connectivity, people, and process. There are three different uh, areas that has been connected together over there. When you talk about sensors and actuators, then we talk about different kind of sensors, starting from a SLS, acceleration, or a starting from a electric or magnetic or a leakage or levels, all these kind of sensors, right? So maybe the machine vision, maybe optical ambient light, maybe a acoustic sound version, or maybe a humidity control or some, maybe a, some sort of a motion sensor or velocity sensor, all these are so-called as sensors that has been, or actuators that has been taken into place. Then comes a so-called the or connected <coughs> people or processor. So these are the connected processors. So we talk about starting from a, the power, <coughs> powerful in, uh, ethernet uh, printed or a, may, maybe a, some sort of a RFID, maybe a Wi-Fi, or maybe all things. So these are, you would talk about, these are the, 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 the connected you know, uh, devices you talk about and with respect to different kind of networks where, because you require a communication, you require a medium where your data can be communi communicated. You require a medium where things can be communicated. So starting from electromagnetic waves to the other kind of waves. So, so these, all these are, you require a communica communication medium and that which is uh, where your data will move. And that is also part of your uh, IoT process. Now then comes a uh, people and all things. So people and process, then we talk about uh, starting from a customer relationship to the, to the cloud, to the, to, the, to the location tracking, to the financial advices, to the upgrading and configuration. This is what a people's process at the same time, you have a so-called the, the process that is called the, you know, a devices or an app or a security or an energy or any kind of a supply and chain management or any kind of a automatic control that we talk about, this is a process. So people and process have, which has been connected and to do, do, do the things in a better way. That means these network inputs can be combined into a bi-directional system that integrate the data, that means real-time data or people data and or a process data and maybe a system to, for a better decision making what is happening. So the interaction between the, these so-called the sensors, connectivity and people and process, all these entities are creating a new types of smart application and services and that is what the one things are moving on as well. When you talk about the, the, the things are getting interesting when these connected devices and services start creating a compound application within their own vertical and across industries which, which both horizontal and vertical, both the things comes in picture over there. So for example, when you talk about a healthcare, a smart home, I'm talking about this one, suppose a, a person, a living, a person who is, is, is in the home and say and look into that one, this is a connected home. So he is a is person and this can be tracked with a keynote camera, with a mobile phones. I'm not talking about with respect to privacy. You may not keep, put all kind of cameras over there because, because of privacy or health or health led issues. So, so a keynote camera which is connected to the not only to the mobile phone but also to the to the to the to, to the connected devices and it is talking about a suppose in case he is fall in a bathroom yeah something which is alerting to a certain certain <clears throat> section of people so maybe relatives maybe hospital all things so which is making ready for a health care so but because it requires attention it happened that one the person is tracked tracked obviously with respect to privacy and security as i say that one so so you won't have an actual camera over there right but obviously we're talking about a skeleton camera where it is talking about it says movement has been tracked and any kind of deficiency or deviation then it alert the the respective authorities to take care of this one it happened that one sometimes you may not say anything so but how the system can know but the system should aware of and system should alert to somebody so that healthcare can be carried out so invariably these integration becomes more tightly coupled across uh, the time 
and the location and service because the time is that when it is happened location is the where it is happened and service is who is providing service and what kind of service all these are inevitably the integration has to become in picture now when you look for a, a this is a i'm talking about a real time service network say though this is for a business point of view the actual names has been taken out so this is a industrial washing machine wherein wherein the machine is connected to different component including this machines are also say that one they are intelligent in the sense they are connected to the insurance sector they are connected to the, the to the manufacturer they are connected to the customer care and they are connected to the, your service provider also so if anything goes wrong so it the the machine is alerting that one something is going to be they're going to be break within so many uh, within few days or few hours hence a, 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 a proper care required so that means it, it, is, it is, is is automatically inviting that a tender wherein the group of uh, people will look into that and this also i'm talking about not a not a human intervention this this could be human intervention but i can post this also logically connected so that uh, it, 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 it 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 publish a tender and publish a tender means if it, it, it the tender people take it account and the best tender has been granted of course again is online and which uh, with respect to mobile devices and this is the tender has been granted and respect to the uh, <clears throat> person or the service provider has to come in picture and this will come in suitable location whatever wherever things are then it get repaired and given the bill or payment happened it all things happening online within a few minutes this could this could happen this is on this is possible because of connected devices all things are there that means the the machine is trying to say that when when it, a certain part is going to be break down right and again when who will pay if it, it is connected to insurance the insurance company will pay it's not the, then the owner has to pay so all these are talking about a connected devices with a pretty washing machine is concerned even though as i said that's a smart washing machine is industrial washing machine i'm not talking about the washing machine that is of that in your home right okay so when you talk about iot and analytics and technology so these again we have to look into that one these are the vendor available so when you talk about iot sensor or data collection you talk about so you may have a, the these kind of embedded things are there so also if you may have a alters you may have a, you know uh, <clears throat> these uh, json yeah csv file or ascii this is the kind of uh, data collection tools which has been used and when comes a data transfer we have a maybe a wire or be usb or ethernet or maybe wireless could be wi-fi rfid nfc zigbee bluetooth ya 4g lte ya 5g could be there or there could be in any kind of a software protocols which can be also used when comes a storage because you then requires analytics we require also data storage also been some very required picture and hence you may have a hadoop you must have known such kind of names could be hbase or could be cassandra amazon uh, you know web service could be used or mongodb could be a database or spark architecture can be used so when comes a visualization you may have a saas tool can be used or could be a tableau or could be a angular js so this such kind of tools can be used for so when comes a analytics we require a data collection data transfer storage analytics and in visualization all this is come to be a part of a so called a iot data analytics is concerned then we talk about the business impact the implication of these trends are are really enormous and it's vertically defined nowadays and 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 standalone product and application markets will increasingly become a part of large network and which may be a, a horizontal system there is a trend there is a tremendous impact on the business on these kind of things and which is moving and growing rapidly over there so the internet of internet which giving us an opportunity to connect the way we could never have dreamed possible earlier and that's where the iot will take us beyond the connection to become a part of living or moving or a global nervous system that is what as of now it has been told so whether you are an individual or a technology developer or an adapter of any kind of technologies that we have seen the iot will stretch the boundaries of today's system and and are you prepared for the changes in the way we will learn and work and innovate yes you have to look into these directions over there now there is a fun thing comes in picture what happens if uh, things start to think we are bothered in the life there are many things this is uh, not saying they are not talking those are not talking with me and we are bothered about that very emotions all things now there is another kind of things people will bother though it's a funny but things in comes in picture if you see here 
there's a two person if the couple and try to say they are saying that man we have to go for a dinner but unfortunately the refrigerator is not speaking to the soap so they are not bothering but they are bothering about worrying about that the two devices are not talking that means why they are not talking means what is the wrong between the with the communication between the two devices that's where the the future is going to come and we have to bother about the, these these kind of things apart from our other emotional attachment whatever you talk about that so when we talk about uh, the analytics uh, data on its own is useless unless you make sense of it so hence uh, we have to do the analytics so what is this this is a scientific process of transforming data into a insight for making better decision this is a scientific process yes everybody is doing analytics everybody is doing analysis but there is a science behind it there is a process behind it if we follow that then definitely it will give you a a, a different kind of a opportunity and over a, any kind of a competitive advantage so that is what the analytics is required then so when we talk about this the, then mostly there are there are three things are there this could be prescriptive analytics wherein the smart decision based upon data what should what should we do or there could be a descriptive analysis or analytics that means mining data to provide a business insight that means what has happened or there could be a predictive one that means predicting the future based upon any kind of a historical data and then what could happen so this is basically the three kind of analytics in bor in in the in when you talk about a analytics is concerned over there so you when you learn anything you have to know so called the kind of tools and why you have to learn them the tools definitely when you talk about uh, somewhere this comes a tensor flow pandas keras uh, jupiter aws uh, google's data studio tableau these are the some of the tools you have to learn however this requires also a background of some statistics required also somewhere you require some sort of a and the computer science business, business to business domain this is also very much required there so when you talk about data analytics uh, then the obviously the term people have been using nowadays is so called a python and you know that one this these are the kind of libraries one can use numpy or a um, screech or a pandas are required for learning all things are there you may use for a matlab matplotlib Met, or a tensorflow or keras as i told that one apart from that one you can use a jupiter which is open source application that allow you to create or share different kind of documents or could be a co which is a a similar to jupyter notebook but with the added benefit of google doc type change sharing is possible over there or that could be a cresel where is it is a gpu enabled jupyter environment which is also good for analytics is concerned so when you look for a analytics it's not the analytics but also you have to do a proper visualization required so that is what data visualization also comes in picture is a part of analytics is concerned so tableau people of oh, this there are many but i just i was trying to say that the tableau is is a one which is widely used or competitively you know price so that price is up to which is available also which is can be used for a which is a versatile also for that one right now uh, coming to the different kind of case studies that we have been carrying out let's look into that how this these things are changing over there let's look at that this is a supermarket wherein we talk about we have a trolley and the trolley is become a smart enough and trolley is now trying to follow you and trolley not only following you it give you the advice it give you it like like a like a bot and it it's it's cal cal calculate also what are the things you have you have taken and also you if you are a regular customer then your profile can be scanned and your pro with respect to profile it will suggest you what you can purchase and 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 if if you are a price sensitive then it will take you the the place where the the price sensitive con in the articles could be there so this is it is it is also a kind of a on you know uh, on the board or uh, a system wherein it advise you not only advise you it follow you and it also calculate you and it it a, a like a, a smart trolley is involved let's look into that how this things are moving this is from a china actually product 
to that, we have done in, in the DVIT, and this is called the application, and we, we call it a Bosco.ai, and uh, certain things are business model, which is because this is a, this is a, this is a product of which wherein our alumni, uh, Tom, has been, uh, is, is, a, is an entrepreneur, and he has his own company, and in that one, in that one, our uh, students has been done the work, and this is basically for a a meeting app, meeting app in the sense that one, it is it is an intelligent meeting app in the sense, <clears throat> in the sense it is it is used a machine learning technique to translate the conversation between the two or more people speaking in different language also. That means uh, if you are speaking a Spanish, it's translated to English. If you are speaking a something else, it translates to English. And uh, it is not only just translating this one, it is just also detects a, any kind of a fraudulent users also there. It's it's not a simple meeting app. It, it is also taking decisions where we are leading this meeting. So beforehand, we are, I mean, with respect to the, I'm not discussing, disclosing much business idea, but it, it, it is basically when we are in a meeting, everybody is speaking when someone is noting down something. And someone means obviously this, this is a, this is a AI based uh, bot, which is listening and which is noting down and, uh, and, and also calculating that how, where we are leading over there. So before any business leading to an unwanted thing or, or a successful, it gives a, a glimpse of that one, what we are actually doing. So this is basically a real time analysis of meeting board where uh, this is, this is uh, you know, <clears throat> it is collecting different kind of ideas, all the profiles and accordingly it is, it is, it is giving, I'm not discussing much, but I'm talking about a, a, a connected devices, a connected uh, things which has been uh, um, and connected and giving a, a things, a analytics. And while it is meeting is going on, it is analyzing the kind of conversation and giving a what the outcomes are there. This is what. So the, uh, the question that the ability of sensors to understand physics and reveals some of the real time context around a given person, obviously, yes. And which can then be combined with the expressiveness of social media data to yield a strong understanding of an individual person or a group of people. That is what it has been looked into that one. This, the crux is like this way. Now, uh, going beyond, so when you look for a video which uh, uh, talk about a facial expression of a person or a accelerometer or a gyroscope, Peter, or which is talk about emotion or claim an audio, which is a cheering or booing something which can be detected or there could be a heart rate, excitement can be calculated. There could be a skin conductance, which can be calculated the stress. So all these, when you couple with a machine learning based analytics to infer people's emotions in a way that was not possible, therefore is a reality nowadays as a well. That means all these, if I connect uh, and I, I and then it will give you very interesting things over there. Let's look at uh, something over there here. Here, this is a, a, a playground where people, uh, where they, this is a, a match is going on. Now, this we want to measure the body excitement level over there. Group of people have excitement and, and with a thermal image, this can give you that the level of excitement that can be measured. So this is not exactly what is the level of things are there? What is the level of excitement? How the match is the thinking going on? Let's look at the video, you'll get a glimpse of it. If you see here now, the, the left-hand side, if you see there, are, there is a heat map coming over there and this shows the excitement level of this one, right? So the color changes, you must do some blue to the, to the, to the, to the, to the red also. That means the, from, a, from a simple excitement to the, to the larger excitement, it goes over there. So this is, has been captured. This is just a clip. It has been captured to, to, to look into the interestingness of the audience towards the match. And that's what the things are there. So when you look for, say, example, I'm talking about a DBIT classroom wherein we talk about to monitor or to examine students' behavior in order to provide approximate analytical interference on observed cognitive and behavioral patterns. What it means that when, when you're attending a lecture, all things are, certain lectures uh, you may feel interesting, certain are not interesting, and you have your own moods over there to attend or not attend or to listen or not listen, or maybe you may be in your own world, even though you are pretending to listen something. So here it is that one, this is a, from a visual analytics uh, when, when the camera, the, your own audio, I mean, the not a, here audio is not taken into account, only the expression taken into account. Expression, not only expression, but also your, your movement, your, your, uh, your <clears throat> posture movement or gesture movement has been taken into account because sometimes you are chit-chatting, sometimes you are discussing, sometimes you are, 
you are simply you know in a, in a, a calm and cool and calm position all these emotions has been taken into account in these cases so from a simple camera which is capturing all things are there so this is what is going on so to find out whether there is a detectable interpersonal interaction in a non collaborative scenario such as listening to a lecture we talk about so to see the attention of a student which can be accessed or uh, who can be assessed on the basis of their non verbal behavior that is what i talk about from the camera the uh, which can be can be taken online if, even if look for a, your drowsiness of your you know uh, when you are feeling sleepy also like that so the facial emotional recognition can be taken into account at this at the time also even if it it take look into pose estimation if you say that one when you have, there are two different poses if you see over here the two different person who have two different poses also it, it also calculate scans and calculate this one so you start to now it is try to pose it this camera this is the, the the tool is now try to capture your 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 pose estimation how your pose are though i'm not talking about much i'm just showing the glimpse of it over there so that means uh, this is a uh, a body language has been connected to 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 a medium so that you are a, a ready to listen or ready to, you are in a, in a mood to listen or not or you where, where is your mood or what is your level of attention to the to the classroom that is what talking about that one so what is that one so video frames the games and then the, we talk about selecting a frame then selecting a region of interest of course it is a single object but can be a multiple object also right the, in this case it is it's shown a single object and which is in, in you can classify different emotions with a different kind of motion you have and then it is going to a, a csv file and from there you are plotting a graph where to for your attention level over there so this is a you know a, some kind of a, just you see the glimpse of it how this is capturing and going and this one in a, in a, in a, in, a, in a background over there so someone is trying to ask something and some are discussing so it is capturing its moods and all things are there if you see here also this is what i'm trying to say this is from from a video camera when you are now as you talk about our things are moving with respect to the online teaching all things are whether the school kid or anybody and which has been in an attract to the their attention level when you are talking about that one right provided you could have a, a, a better amount of camera which is of the drawback in this cases over there so two scenarios if you see here one side a classroom that regular classroom or the other side we talk about a say a online classroom also there so these are the uh, our uh, student which which has been tracked by this one and they are now this is actually this is during the lockdown period we have been how this has been connected with respect to the online and that is what we track it online tracking and online uh, you know uh, the detection of the, your uh, <clears throat> different expression not only expression the attention level that has been taken into account for these cases as of now so i'm just showing the glimpse of that one how the things have been connected interconnected and with, with the online we able to try to make it sound a better thing over there so uh, uh one example we talk about that see everybody has been using the you know different kind of app when you talk about the crowd density estimation approach and where we talk about you see this scenario a train and all thing and we talk about there is a stampede situation and there is we talk about the the heat map of that one so when you talk about a train and crowd and all things are there can it be tracked online can it be you know with a real time basis can it be possible that the question comes in picture that when we are moving right we are sometime little worried what will the scenario when we land up in a particular station shall i move left shall i move right uh, uh, what could be the crowd when i get down into say thane station or yeah, kurla station or yeah, any bus in so what is what is the scenario of a crowd so the stakeholders could be the, the person who is traveling this the, the these the stakeholders could be the the, or the station manager or the station operator whatever all this is. so how do you look for the measure the crowd in online way right so if you see here the pictures i talk about a, a particular platform where you see that one red dots are available that means this is the density level at this moment so this obviously this is captured with respect to one thing that can be captured through a camera which is already there available and the second thing is that one because if we if we connect uh, the kind of uh, you know uh, the um, this if someone is carrying a mobile phone if you if you talk about a geo fenced uh, structure when you then the moment when you are in getting into a train when the moment when you are getting into a platform it has been connected so that means you you are you 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 are knowingly unknowingly it is tracked that means your count has been taken who are there whether it's a getting from a train getting into a train and you are standing in a platform all these have been 
collected and all these have been tracked and it gives you a picture of that one what is the what could be the the the, the crowd density at a, at a particular moment even though it will give a prediction also that one while you are moving what is the scenario when i get down at thin one after 3 minutes or one because it is, it is periodically it is calculating so how it is because then when the connected devices are there and behind scene this analysis is going on the crowd is moving crowd is uh, increasing decreasing all these are in a real time basis and giving it and this requires a powerful analytical tool and to to connect multiple devices and to capture data and real time it will give you in the form of a second because everything happens in in the form of a seconds over there so we talk about a heat map which can be generated and heads can be given to the maybe a station master maybe a station maybe maybe somebody maybe even if you who are a traveler maybe information giving to it to you that one what is the scenario over there so so in the, even if there the there the actual there the crowds are moving that also can be tracked and can be done this would be the again a, a iot based device this is a small project last to last year has been done in the in the dvit wherein is the sensing system for a chili crops for digit dynamics over there you, this is the the basketball court near you will find one small field there where it has been device are there and they were collecting data on real time basis and there these were connected devices and this was has been given my monitor from a outside okay that was the the scenario talk about sensing system for a chili crop this is only for the chili crop is come whether the whether disease is going to come or not they are holding right so uh, this is the work where you talk about uh, the iot in agriculture wherein we talk about uh, 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 from the thailand point of view because they talk about a smart farming where i have been involved and i have been the research mentor for that project for a couple of years and that is for the smart agriculture they talk about and this is what basically the <clears throat> the 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 iot in agriculture look into a different levels we talk about a the sensors level which is gateway controller facility the other ways for the mobile network or a, or a fixed network or there could be a, a alarm management or remote control expert system and that could be which is related to regulation irrigation storage or or, or reliability so this is the way we did this actual picture is something like this where is talking about a the the agriculture principle in the thailand or talking about that one so wherein we talk about uh, different layers we talk about a transport layer where this kind of a sensory or perceptual informations are there where we talk about iot perception layer where we the or talk about the management where the all the you know, the long range uh, transmission talk about where starting from a 3g to 2g to 2 to a wireless lan and then they call the iot application where we talk about a a geographically environment uh, environment management or agriculture production or a safety of an agriculture product management or could be agriculture equipment which can be facility or can be managed this is talk about different kind of application is a smart agriculture across across the thailand so here this is to try to say that one gis geographical information system iot technology applied in a large scale agriculture that we talk about the, with a geographically sensitive areas and uh, how the sensors has been giving a data information that is a glimpse of it over there so this is a it is centralized control on wherein we talk about uh, what you want to uh, see and just with a click you can able to see that is what a centralized one in the in the in the project we talk about from a laboratory from a from sitting from a laboratory to see what is there across whatever different kind of field with respect to different kind of location we talk about that one so wherein we talk about a real time surveillance we talk about a soil information analysis we talk about alarm we talk about remote device and which can support towards a policy actually is concerned over there so even though including the fault uh, faulty alarm also in, even in, including also the automatic control also it, even though also looking for a, a distributed management we talk about that and so starting from a auto irrigation to a fault analysis to a smart management this has been carried out in in that project actually so so, so with a mobile app or it could be a real time control was the motto of this one wherein we talk about a a a real time acquiring data from farming and iot farming according to data and analysis and the analysis of uh, the quiz data which can make a marketable value and that will be given to a policy decision making salt on some so the technical innovation in this case is that point to point multiple nodes of wireless video monitoring system has been the one that means okay the second point could be that one the heterogeneous network could because there could be a gpr there could be a wireless lan there could be a 3g there could be a wifi there could be a zigbee or bluetooth so this is a bit a heterogeneous network and a multiple model fusion efficient interface control is a, another technical innovation has been done in this cases there could be something like a large scale network we talk about so it could be a, a, a zigbee to a xb which is can be self healing system there could be a you know uh, it could be uh, you know a technological frontier we talk about we talk about as uh, a power consumption problem we, which can be addressed at uh, the at the automatic level that is why we talk about that one so the major function in this project was the real time data real time surveillance over there 
that is what to making making the you know uh, the the uh, um, the real time data and the video to make the managers more at easy in the for taking a real time decision is concerned thing so the major function apart from that was as that that the data storage also because the data is coming where to store all thing and where to process and and any time any where end process is required there so this requires a different kind of a you know you know a, a real time data analysis which may be used with a hadoop and all things that can be used over there or this can be also you require also a remote control because anything we want to say that when a information or a, a, a information comes in in the form of a notification to what to do you may put a remote control you just press a button it then things will move accordingly whatever you say that one and that's what we talk about a intelligent system if you talk about a auto <coughs> auto uh, handling of your your information auto handling of your notification that you make the system intelligent because if you base upon historical data based upon the 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 the, the, the rules of course in the intelligent system here in this case a rule based if this is happen what and then take decision to irrigate or not to irrigate that is what is, is, the, is the question over comes over there so that was the kind of work has been done with the iot analytics is concerned there is another project that's called a geosense which is a indo japan joint vector project under the dst and jst system from a, both india and japan project where i have been worked over there so this is a system of glimpse of a system where we have talk about different kind of a server with web camera lipetnets all things as different kind of sensors sensors we talk about again we are talking about a not only a surveillance but we talk about a the 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 analysis for the production is concerned analysis for the disease management for the so called our you know uh, the the uh, live monitoring of crop modeling pest management precision irrigation or decision support support system we talk about if you see the, the this is the sim simple field view of the work that we have been done over there so small device are talking about there is another work that's called a sense tube where we where this is where this is in the in the uh, the earlier project was near close to the hyderabad uh, uh, this was this field was near to hyderabad where in agriculture university this has been taken care whereas the sense tube would talk about this another a project which is of a it area government of india project wherein it has also it is post in the nagpur version where it's it look for the you know uh, orange uh, cultivators uh, that that project is meant for this one so this is a, is a scalable or uh, integration have been taken in more into more interpretable of so called the web enabled sensing system which has been taken care the earlier one we talk about uh, if you see the fields th this is mostly on the maize ground nut and the rice you talk about over there whereas this one is for the the orange uh, uh, field is concerned over there with respect to height if you see this the the of uh, the 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 uh, <clears throat> sensors has been put accordingly with respect to height is concerned so the features over there that one integrated devices to to look into different kind of a, an environmental parameters and uh, uh, taking a with respect to a smartphone how do you connect it and with also a location dependent deployment can be carried out whereas we have used a middleware we have used a cloud based storage you have used also cross uh, crop specific uh, you know field operation based notification service can be taken care of also a simplified installation of a different kind of middleware and which is also embedded farm resource management also given up application so the application to be they are here in this cases are more the precision crop and nutrition management and the pest management and yield monitoring we have taken and of course also environmental impact also taken in picture so here this was a more on the iot based mobile or web application for a configuration of a sensing system we talk about in the agriculture over there it's another kind of a work which is on this in, from <clears throat> there from there also where we talk about a, you know if you see here this is in this case we talk about a a small uh, insect which is shown in the green in color and which is the same insect which is shown in the in the little yellow white in color it means that one this is this is a in, this is could be infant or could be a a, a, a you know age of this uh, uh, insect could be you know less compared to this is the adult one so this one is trying to say that one when then what is the what is if the if the change in color if the if 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 you if you notice the change in color that means we say that one the what kind of uh, you know damage these these uh, insects are can be done if if there is a change in the you know in the kind of pets that we are capturing through a camera over there so the you see the by seeing such kind of thing by seeing and see this can be also calculated with with the growing pattern if you see here this is a sticky plate on the on the pole and be, and, and 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 camera is observing for that one so from image processing technique you can find out the the growth pattern level this can be calculated with respect to one square uh, as a <clears throat> one square meter to the hence a hectare or something on that one 
so there are certain uh, here the small insects are which cannot be visible cannot be captured by camera so what is that one there is that's called aphids which cannot be seen by camera probably because root there are so small and small tiny but they they cause a damage also but to eat that small insect there is a large insects coming over these are the they are the environmental friendly they are not damaging crop but they are coming to eat this kind of uh, thing these are called a non veg pest concern so when these population increase that means that one there is a significant amount of these things are there so if you you cannot count this a uh, uh, small insect but you can count the the, the the little little bigger insects over there so counting this bigger insects one can correlate what could be the the smaller insect level and hence you can find out what is the infection level over there so this can be carried out with respect to image processing or video processing over there so that is what i talk about this uh, the uh, the video processing you can identify predators you can identify white flies you can identify aphids so this can be done with any real time basis all things so this can be possible because you can you can stay in the lab yeah, wherever you are you can able to know with when, when you do analytics of this one in a real, real time mode over there so when i say that one going to the earlier project as i say that one when i in this earlier project we talk about that one the uh, here <clears throat> we talk about a crop water requirement or talk about a yield growth yeah what is the uh, the level of growth there uh, you know growth pattern all this can be calculated with the real time basis because the data is coming in a real time mode over there okay moving ahead <clears throat> if you see here something like this way there, 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 there is a insects which is e eating out leaf there is a, there is a, some spots in the leaf there are some other spot and where the like, plants are dying and there is something like this way there is some uh, somebody spraying with the spraying pesticide which definitely and polluting environment not only environment but also the person but also the plant but also things are there so this is is another kind of a damage though one side we are killing the pests and, and disease but other side we also in polluting environment also another health hazards are there so the problem here is that one uh, how do you know that one how much required that this is what the inadequate knowledge about the factors influencing the things so if you if you able to collect the data uh, and then able to uh, <clears throat> get the information well in advance how obviously with a with a iot then things can be uh, things can be uh, carried out better so that is what a, a the idea of uh, uh, can we can iot help in these cases so i'm not talking about much uh, of the uh, mathematical model behind this but i'm talking about uh, the data has been collected and analyzed and give you a, a picture of something like this way that means it's for example i'm talking about for a particular pest on disease it says that one rh2 when i say rh2 means that means relative humidity 2 of second of the relative humidity 2 means what is that one this means that one there is afternoon humidity increase uh, by a certain amount a certain certain figure then there is a, a different kind of disease comes in so this is a kind of analysis comes from the data from the field which is is a continuous process over there so when you know that one what is the impact factor or which one is impacting suppose there is a heavy rain for continuous days or suppose there is a a, a, a dry spell of continuous days or something then what is going to come so this is the 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 the, the the analysis will help you that one what is going to happen well in advance so well in advance i am trying to say at least in 15 days advance you can do something over there you may not have a control on environment but you have a control on you if you know something then you can do a right decision that is what matter of concern over there so so in this case what i try to say that one i can take care because the system wants me system gives me information that what i can do so i can do at this moment if i skip it or if i go is there any chance to do something if not then what will happen so all this can be can be can be calculated uh, you know on real time basis and which can be you can simulate also so you can know at this a particular moment what is the what is the going to be the, the infection level this can be just in a, in a matter of click over there one thing that i was trying to say that one this the, the, if you see all your picture the pesticide was sprayed by a person but what happened it is spring pesticide entire field it's not require entire field it happened that one if i know that one which page which page is going to in a in a bad shape or bad condition then only talk about so now here is now that another things coming for is so called the drone wherein it carry it carries the pesticide and is is played it it will pour it place or spray the places where only the you know damage happened about so i i may not have to spray across the field i have to spray only specific field so how it is possible definitely it, it requires again a image processing over there so the 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 drone it's collect the image process the image and then carries the 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 pesticide whatever and 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 spray the place where exactly it is it happened so that you can save uh, the, uh, the energies they save the you know crop and save the you know the, the environment on that way it is so it is not just some just some showing example over here but this can be calculated with the real time basis if you see the pictures the pic these things are connected over there the how much you are spraying what is not being is all a control over there over there this can be also can be have also automated word automated 
So what is that one though? This is taking image in a real time mode and then it is it's, it's, uh, it processes the image and then it gives you a, a so-called NDVI, you know, for towards a precision agriculture. That means this is, this is used could be a nutrition management, water stress management. I mean, such kind of image, if you see the, the color of images and this color of image shows a different kind of pictures over there, right? So this can be, you know, used for a multiple purpose, but which, which I have shown over here. So, but it is, this, is, this is a very complex phenomenon. What we talk about that uh, the agriculture field is very, very complex phenomenon, right? So when you talk about yield potential, it requires a, you know, to understand the different level of things are whether it's a weather, it's a pest or field variables or agronomic practices or any kind of a disease or any kind of seed it has been. This is a, this is a process actually. So it, it is, it is Y equal to F of G P. That's what we are talking about. Where is, but whereas uh, this is a genetic uh, environment and farming practices GEP is concerned. And but however, there is also a variability which is of epsilon is concerned over there. This is a very complex phenomenon. But however, with a real time, when you collect the data, then something can be doable, something can be noticeable, and something can be done over there. But here, when I when I talk about uh, the our, nowadays people are talking about if I have a analytics or if I have a data science in this one, then able to I can optimize the inputs and I can maximize the production. That is what it is, it talks about that one, right? So when we talk about uh, the the scenarios of agriculture and things like that, and then we talk about uh, different kind of uh, apps or different kind of tools or different kind of technology can be used with respect to IoT. So the IoT in agriculture will evolve in order to in order of their necessity to for a farmers and the benefits it offers is is is, is tremendous benefit and there are very variety of applications that are going to evolve and soon we will see a mushroom wave of IoT based applications same that we have in witnessing for a mobile apps over there. So I'm talking about a smart grid for a remote communication which is a electrical or power that means apps for the efficient power management. Or talk about a water resource, a smart irrigation, which we I have I have shown here in in the in our IoT based system. There we talk about apps for efficient water control. So example, I try to say that when the 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 the, the field will, from the field the plant will save that when I need so much amount of water, or the group of field plants, a group of field information give that this much amount of water required there. So I can I can press a button from a mobile phone. That's it, and it, it, the water will be irrigated if it is connected. If it is connected. That means okay. So it could be a labor productivity, smart harvesting. That means I talk about a, you know, if you talk about a cashew picking or cotton picking or any, 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 you know, any fruit picking, the robotic arms, of course, in India, these things are not there, but in Western world, these are there, all the, all the things are there. So this is what very, this will sense it. It is sense the ripening, uh, uh, <clears throat> ripening of this one. It sense the what is good, what is not good. And accordingly, it will, it can, it can be captured over there. So challenging terrain also there are, see, it is not that one all the time we have a flat lands are there. We have, a, if you look for the Northern side uh, wells or there are some terrains which are, are, are terrain environments, which is not a flat over there. So so it, so monitoring all things are really difficult task. Hence uh, there could be a, the drones application and which which can be connected to an app. It should be sense image and that can be sensed that can be monitored, that can be calculated and which can be, can be given information what the, the things are there. So when you look for a cultivation, obviously, when you, we have talked about different kind of agriculture, so this all the daily monitoring or a growth stage wise that can be carried out, that can improve our cultivation purpose over there. Now, one thing you must have seen that one in the in this pandemic, what is not stopped is though the cultivation is not stopped over. Everything is stopped, but this cultivation is not stopped over there. So, but so this is what the, the if, if we involve all the things with the automated system, with the IoT system, obviously bit by sitting in the home, you can monitor, monitor your field. As you say that. So, whether starting from a value chain to a, a to trend or a, to a market or a, to economics, all this uh, the IoT is going to bring a, a lot of change over there. So, but behind this, it requires strong analytics behind this one. But all this uh, makes a policy matter. So, enabling the government or local administration for enforcing the policy or implementing the program. So, this is what is required with respect to the data that is coming from those IoT devices. So all these innovations for a real life application are going to be evolved based on the some current technology, whether it's a cloud or mobile or remote sensing or data analytics. So the IoT for agriculture phenomenon is going to ride at a convergence of the technologies and uh, it is an interdisciplinary field of application. So most, so, so most importantly, the maturity of agribusiness shall dictate the adoption and leverage these technology which is explosion around them. That is what is going to come over there, over there. 
so when we talk about uh, this technology it is it is integrating a multi mode of iot devices which is supporting the whole value chain and it is a consortium of technology which could be a, a, a service provider also and moving from a data driven farming to a autonomous operation to a virtualized food chain and the personal nutrition that is going to is going to over there so this is we need a a uh, need a reliable and a secure iot system as of now these things are, are not secure as of now so you require a standardization you require a, you know a, a, a <clears throat> interoperable we require an open iot architecture for infrastructure all things are there. we need a ecosystem for a for a collaboration of a space we need a also a, a different object layer to to collaborate on so this kind of things are now as required over there so that is what i want to say that one this is what the 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 iot and the data analytics which i have shown you different kind of uh, um, experiments the kind of uh, you know the 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 case studies who is wherein starting from a small you know business to a classroom to a to a to a to a, to a supply chain to a agriculture to a so called a mechanized device with that, that i talk about that so that's what the my discussion today thank you very much any questions i can take now Oh uh, yes, sir. We'll start with the question and answer. Okay. So, so we have one question. Uh, what about privacy and security issues that come with these IoT devices, considering the amount of data it collects? Okay. So, as as I as I told that one, this is a as a infant as of now when comes say the protocols or IoT because. the era is moving to so called the industry 4.0 where in everything is going to be autonomous and all things are there so and everybody is able to to do a kind of different kind of devices and but as of now the standards are yet to come though there is a ieee standard when ever things are maintaining but but again the the question is interoperable or 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 is are still questionable there so security is a major concern of of him but if if it is a follow say i triple e standard of of uh, of uh, any kind of protocols then those systems are a bit secure otherwise if any system which is not following i triple e standard then those securities are all the time a questionable yes it is true because it is a growing field it is a, there is a, there is a serious gap in this security is concerned over there yes provided the device is should follow i triple e standard but however as i say that when i can do whatever i can do i can take a raspberry pi or i can do a add in all thing i can design something but am i following the i triple e standard am i following all things that the answer is the answer is somebody yes somebody no if i am not following then those devices are 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 highly vulnerable and definitely those data are highly vulnerable if you talk about even if you say that when when you talk about a zoom came in picture over there Then, then, then data transfer. Then talk about and people question and somewhere someone is question that one. This is not a complete encryption. Again, here also when we when I send a data from a small IoT device from a Raspberry Pi to other places, am I am I having a, a, a encrypted data? The answer is no, because because as a student, all thing you are not following the encryption standard. Obviously, the data transfer that you are sending from a from a small small or one lab to other lab is definitely is a vulnerable and not secured so we have to whenever i am sending a data i have to look for look for a encryption standards over there so as i said that one when you talk about it i'm giving a zoom all of the in the month of april uh, all of the prior to that and now the, the zoom that you talk about they are they are, uh, they, they, are so they are they are claiming that there is an end to end encryption when you look for a whatsapp message you talk about that message when you from one, one end to another one it talk about it it say that is an encrypt is is an encrypted message but however the devices that we talk about that because again it it, it comes it comes with a with a kind of expense also because when the moment when you talk about encryption standard it requires also certain certain cost involved it again in the process also it will slow down also obviously to prove so you have to look into different corner to how to enforce the the encryption standards then only the device secure otherwise if you are not in, in ensuring encryption standard then then simply you are sending or pushing data then those are not secured so that those data are definitely vulnerable Okay, so so the next question is, uh, how will the field develop with regards to development in other areas like AI? Yes, see, see, even a simple reason is I say that one, it has to be uh, based upon see, and you you are trying to say combine the AI concept of uh, uh, into this one or here, even the sensors. When I talk about earlier, when I say that one. 
the uh, the, uh, the 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 device that is that is even even the, the work that we talk about a device that in that which is malfunction sometimes. So what happened that one? It it if it gives a signal that one. I think we are facing some technical issues. Just give us give us a moment. Hello. Yes, sir, you're audible. Yes. Uh, yeah, because the, the other one has disconnected probably. So okay. uh, the as I say that one, the uh, we are talking about uh, the encryption. Uh, what what are the second question? Sorry, uh, please repeat second question, please. Uh, yes, sir. How will the field develop with regards to development in other areas like AI? Yes, as I say that one, uh, the 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 devices are small enough. We have to make a uh, training based systems so example if we, if you look back the, uh, the if you look back the era of so called 30 to 40 years back the the government has uh, uh, even in many many places there are so many uh, itis has been developed itis are developed because this is so called a industrial training institute this is to make the you know uh, lower level people to 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 make them aware and make them trained so that they can they can be you know employable they can uh, may become entrepreneur they become a so called a, you know a service provider similarly in these cases also for a iot or any sensing systems we have to make uh, aware of the people and make a make the people to take such kind of services and they can then they become a self dependable then right or independent then they can provide they can so because these devices are electronic devices and they are going to malfunction also and you require a service also there definitely so there is another kind of a job which is coming up because to at a lower level like like a, your garage or mechanic of a, or a bicycle mechanic or a, so a small mechanic similar such kind of device such kind of things are, are a kind of service are going to come up there right to 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 address the things like when this is this will be become mushroom then then we talk about so called a the ai based system in a sense uh, right that because it is mostly on the rule based system which will you know to be written when you are writing a protocol Right, that one. How to take a decision? How, the, as I said, that one, one of my project we have been uh, taken a rule-based system. That one. How this one, you know, help be self-healing, right? So protocols to be written for a self-healing. Protocol to be written for suppose if suppose what you do in the computer. Suppose if the computer not working properly, you reboot it. Isn't it that? How do you reboot? You touch it, reboot, na? Isn't it na? So now when I when I, when I write a code in that one, when it, something is goes wrong, it, it has to reboot. I'm just giving an example. So a self healing like a thing has to be in, has, has to be inculcated with, with, with those devices with a protocol to be written so that uh, they can they can be a self diagnostic. Example: Suppose your Windows system sometimes when it becomes a self diagnostic because the rules are written over there. That means the system is making a little bit intelligent over there. So when I talk about to whom to be communicated, to whom <clears throat> if if a signal I'm not getting, then how can I proceed? Shall I wait? How long I best wait? So how do I take the system? So such kind of such kind of uh, you know protocols has to be written to a devices so that it can or uh, when we are integrating then 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 this uh, as you talk about AI capability of things can be in introduced. As of now, things are growing and things are moving toward that direction that how these small devices can able to take uh, own decisions. Yes, people are the, the things are going as of now right of this thing. Okay, sir. So uh, does IoT require complex coding? No, 
iot is not requiring complex that, that if you if you if you if you require see all these are most on the protocols or rules all these are if you if you uh, look a, a, a learn little bit of embedded systems uh, and uh, particularly the tools that technology i've used python and all thing by python is very comfortable with the with, with the iot devices and uh, and mostly whether it's you talk about uh, 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 arduino small small device like arduino raspberry pi to a high end devices python is the one which is is well connected apart from java java is there also obviously so you don't require a complex coding you require that one how do i Uh, how do i uh, understand the how do i understand the platform commun uh, uh, communication so you need a, a, a study of so called a, 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 a communication whether it's a mobile or that kind of thing that you have to look into that so it's not a complex coding no not at all and and uh, the the persons who have been designed all things are there are, are not complex coding over there okay sir so the next question is what impact will iot have on smart city sector i have showed you that one uh, there is a great business of uh, uh, <clears throat> in the um, smart city and because as you talk about a connected devices uh, yes importance of iot is very much required yes there is a good business value proposition in the iot market uh, of course in the western sector it is moving uh, as i saw in, in the graph also i saw that one um, as of now it is a for a smart city sector is um, something close to 12 yeah 22 percent is of not that way but there is there is a impact is going to come over there because of the any any government or any agency is is uh, uh, making uh, the things proper way okay so the next question is what all points should be considered when designing an iot application for home and for industries yes so these are two different concept over there industry industrial iot applications are different than home app applications are if you make it the industry standard as you say that when the when when you purchase a, a filter as for example water filter it's it's it it goes for a domestic purpose then there are water filter which was industrial purpose so the so because the, there is a limitation is there hence one has to look into that one what what is the what see devices that is for home use and device for industrial use example when the example that i talk about a washing machine that was talk about a industrial washing machine where it, where you require a tender you require all things are because the, the equipment cost is high and the 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 uh, the sensing cost is high and other th all things are high so hence i could that so so the cost is comes in picture over there and the equipment or the small size and all thing in comes in picture accordingly the protocols to be written and the rules to be defined and business to be defined over there also yes there are two different ap applications but whoever Uh, using then one has to because when the moment when you talk about industrial application or a, you know then 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 the, the cost comes in picture and device size comes in picture and this is also going to happen. Okay, so so a viewer is asking, we yeah. save programs with different .dot .ext file names, example Arduino's, Raspberry, etc. How do these gadgets interact on cloud? Can you give some insight on this concept? see the as a, the moment when you talk about a cloud and talk about so uh, see one is that one first thing is is coming with, with respect to handset so example how how do i interact with you if i have a handset if i if i say hello if you reciprocate hello then 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 the, then the then the communication started over there again then before before after this communication of just a, just a hello and hi just to talk about that similarly kind of also when i when i send a signal and the 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 the, the other party other uh, component is sending another signal that yes i am i am ready to accept you then we have to understand the profile profile means what kind of things what you have what what do you mean to say that is it a interoperable right now when you cross inter interoperable so called then that mean then the data exchange able to take place now after the data exchange then then we move to the um, of course this all is happening through a cloud only if you talk about the cloud then then it, it requires a cloud uh, uh, permission also require there right so yes all these are are are, are in this map a protocols to be uh, designed or to be delivered through with respect to security level because there are there are some privacy there are some you know uh, you know issues over there yes they can they can interact with each other with a with a particular uh, uh, cloud environment which which are doable and of course the, when when we talk about all this i'm talking about the, the smart home and all thing what i have shown here even if when i talk about the, my agriculture device we are also using a cloud because because everything we can do over here we taken a cloud service also there so different uh, <clears throat> things over there that has been taken care for your uh, uh, cloud computing point of view cloud computing is not this is this is just a service provider ultimately 
we have to use the one that is is, is possible of with respect to the, the 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 device that we want to communicate over there okay Hello? so so the yeah so the next question is uh, with the rise of iot and ai what about the job opportunities see uh, as as i talk about as i already have told you that one uh, as i told already that one job opportunity as i say that smaller from a small scale to a large scale is going to come actually right so already i have told the market scenario as in 2020 i have shown in the market scenario the job opportunities are upcoming years there is very job not immediate effect because this is a growing and things are uh, moving towards that but job opportunities are, are, are tremendous actually because whether it is a it is a from a uh, from the small sensors development to a, a sensor service and to a connectivity to a so called analytics yes job is there actually in upcoming in the western sector where and not particularly the uh, Uh, yes western sector these things are already implemented to a large extent but again the moment when the, we talk about a 5g and all things have started and then the the the, the tremendous value is going to come until that uh, uh, still the, the market is growing but there is a uh, is a job in the if not uh, just one or two year but next five year the jobs are there in the more in the iot of course not iot as i talk about but iot with the light all things are because <clears throat> because when the things are coming when the market acceptability and uh, and the and the customer uh, acceptability and then then this then 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 it's all the boomings comes over the big anything with the, it requires a service the service matters means obviously there's a job creation over there it is going to come over there but this is yes it, it requires a little time but there is a there, there is a market is going to come over there yeah okay so so how dfi that is drawn federation drone federation of india is carried mm. out if drone with cameras then what is the frequency of vigilance serving the field so as of now as see what we uh, even if i have already shown the other uh, countries and all things so there is a limitation with indian government also as kind of things that to what frequency to use or not to use because we are in india is a very restriction over there over there right so here so again all this <clears throat> all these uh, for a private uh, uh, um, sense or even for a surveillance what we talk about yes we talk about a even the what we have used also in fact it is a is a not exactly is a video but because taking a video processing all this video and the online is really is a tricky and very complex situation so what it was talking about we have what we have carried in for a field all things are is a based upon a click click so means uh, uh, several clicks in a, in a particular second uh, particular particular minute we have taken so that that we are processing all things are there so video processing as of now and taking a complete surveillance so that and in online mode in which uh, really we I, we have not done much over there but yes there is a uh, uh, work going on which uh, i have not done much on but i have used that one for a uh, analysis is concerned as a application so that's what I, i i have not done work much okay. on that side actually but this okay. is application we have used for analytics actually yes yes so uh, while making project on home automation home automation what problem will we face yes uh, <laughs> see when when you look for a student and uh, when you care commercial they are to expect when even though suppose when i talk about a student or talk about home automation the when the home automation i'm just giving a simple example like say uh, uh, opening the door opening the door means i will say that one uh, that when i open the door i can open speak open the door right i can say something so my voice is now i'm communicating and recognizing and my the door is opening now i say that when it happened that when i when i come over there my it, it my eye or my facial expression has been scanned and the, the camera is saying that when when i say that when i i may give some you know instruction so maybe in the waving hand whatever so open the door comes in picture isn't it or i may put a so called a finger and that i open the door that way so i'm just giving example like this this start with a automation when to, talking about a you know which is that this the, the our locking system is connected to the my maybe my mobile phone maybe my other interior system which is now through internet uh, maybe the third party which is uh, controlling which can be doable over there over there so, so but now the question comes over picture is that one training the system training the system means i'm talking about door opening is a training system suppose some day i my my throat has a some problem so my voice has changed now what will happen so one has to look, look into the other alternative that one how do i take it that one 
uh, to, to opening the door over there. So, so when we talk about a automation, a start automation start with this one plan A or plan B or that means other alternative also there. Right. So example, I talk, another talk I talk about, even if many times we have been seen also that when you can switch up your AC from your so-called the, from your switch on or off heat. For example, when I'm coming from your home or maybe 15 minutes before, I feel that when my home and now it's hot and my home should be cool when I go. So prior to 15 minutes, I instruct them through my mobile phone, my, because my app is connected to my AC. So hence, uh, when, I, when I click it and then the AC is on, then when, when, I, when I go home within 15 minutes, so called, my my room is cool and I'll enjoy that must so I'm just uh, this is these are these are just small small things uh, you want us to start to towards a home automation is account not only this one's example like uh, when you said about unnecessarily your fan switch on or a freeze or even if your gadgets are on that can be even if you're not using then you can you know either, either you can get a notification to a mobile phone which which is which is instructing to you to switch up or it can be taken auto decision that one at a certain certain amount of time it should switch up or there is a motion sensor if you are not in a home when and nobody there is no movement then it then the light will be off also that way so so small small things one has to start so that to make it a, a, a automation towards so called home automation these are from a students level these are the doable and which can be carried out I go over there okay thank you Thank you, sir. For, that was the last question for today. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, so, yeah, I would like to thank you. Uh, thank Dr. Amaya, sir, for such great knowledge he has uh, shared with us today regarding to I IoT and its applications also. So, and I thank all, all my, all our viewers also for attending this webinar today. We would be coming up with such interesting uh, webinars and workshops in the future also. For updates, you can check us at our Instagram page, CSIDBIT. We would be posting uh, there soon with upcoming events. Once again, thank you. Uh, thank you, Doctor, for this amazing session. I hope thank you. all our viewers have uh, got a, a great insight about IoT and its application in the future. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. So may I leave now? Yes, sir. Yes. Thank you. Thank you.